Hello and welcome. Really quickly before the video starts, remember to follow me on my other accounts and like and subscribe and maybe hit that notification bell. Anyways, on with the video. So recently I just finished Metroid Zero Mission. This was my first ever experience with the Metroid universe and Metroid games, and it was great. While a full-fledged retrospective on 2D Metroid is coming soon, this serves as a sort of sneak peek for what will happen. So here I will comment on an aspect that really stuck out with me, it's storytelling. Okay, to start off, I'm going to do a dramatic reading of the story of the game to illustrate some aspects. So <clears throat> let's go. Metroid Zero Mission is a relatively story driven game, although it's light. The game itself centers around Samus and her journey through the planet Zebes. She is to take down the Mother Brain and eradicate all Metroid lifeforms from there. But Zebes is also her home planet, where she was raised by her Chozo bird dad. She travels throughout the planet, getting deeper and deeper and getting more and more abilities, which you eventually get reliant on, and you trust them fully to protect you. Remember how safe that power suit made you feel. Soon Samus has a run in with the space pirate Ridley. Ridley was the same one who murdered her parents, so they have a bumpy history to say the least. I love how this part is set up with a cutscene where we see Ridley land on Zebes a while before you run into him, so the whole time you have a sense of dread wondering where he went. Anyways, after defeating Ridley in a pretty difficult fight, you explore Zebes a bit more. Soon you'll find the room where Mother Brain is held. The first thing you see when entering the room are space pirates dead on the ground surrounded by Metroid. They killed them. I love this cutscene so much. It raises the stakes of the situation greatly and instills a fear of the Metroids into you. A fear you will most likely feel when you're getting surrounded by them later in this area. After defeating the Metroids there, Samus finds the Mother Brain and defeats her, which then causes a self-destruct system to activate. After defeating this stressful escape sequence, Samus can finally leave the planet. She gets on her ship and takes off her suit. Her mission is over. But wait, what's this? Samus then gets shot down by stray space pirates and lands back on the surface of Zebes. The suit is broken, and all you have now is a measly pistol. I love this part of the game. It redefines everything we learn throughout the game and it leaves you vulnerable. The suit and weapons you rely on are now gone. You are alone and hunted. This is the point in Zero Mission where I think the gameplay perfects itself. Sneaking around Chozodia is scary and nerve wracking, and the space pirates can take you out with a couple blasts. This was one of, if not the best stealth section I ever played in a game. It gives a complete bait and switch of what we expected out of the game, and it's decently sized but not too long to the point where it starts to drag on. And all of this has a crescendo at the end point of Chosodia. One thing I should add in before mentioning this part is throughout the game, sometimes when finding power-ups, you instead find an unknown item. These don't do anything in your suit, and they are accompanied by a very ominous tone as opposed to the usual happy tone. Take a listen. Anyways, back to the area. After getting flashbacks, we learn that Samus has been here before as a child, and now she is being tested. I say this part is more of a mini boss battle because it isn't that long and it is pretty difficult. So after the bosses end, Samus retrieves her power suit again, but this time those previously unknown power ups are finally made compatible with Samus' suit, so now we have a super powerful Samus finally able to defeat the pirates. Now the previously suspenseful music is replaced by the Brinstar theme, so now we have a triumphant feeling to boost us and are finally able to defeat these space pirates. They also add in this detail which I really love, one of the space pirates is even hiding from you, that just shows how powerful you've become. Eventually after making it through Chizodia again, you defeat a robot Ridley, and then Samus finally escapes Zebes, even more powerful than she once was. So yeah, that ending was great along with the subtle storytelling. 
Really though, Metroid Zero Mission was a great game, and my first ever Metroid experience. I will remember it and its stealthy ending forever. But there's still so much to cover with this game. Its design, impact, development, and more. But I'm gonna wait until the full series retrospective for that. So what else to say apart from stay tuned? Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video as a small dive into my favorite aspect of Zero Mission. And as always, continue to sim for Sam- wait what? Alright, those were some of the thoughts I had on Metroid Zero Mission. I really wanted to talk about this game in a smaller format, so I did. Anyways, as of writing this script, I'm still playing through Samus Returns, but I'll probably make a similar type video for that. Yeah, next video is something. I don't know yet. Next week, I'm actually having a vacation and traveling to the happiest place on earth, Disneyland. So, I might not have time to make a fully new video, but if the Nintendo Direct is there, then I'll probably just record a reaction to that and post that instead. But if there's no Nintendo Direct, then I'm just probably gonna just rush out a video, I don't know. Anyways, adios.